This is a demo of using Zoom together with OBS to do screen recordings of Astive technologies. I'm going to first demonstrate the problem with Zoom's default screen share. This is all recorded with Zoom itself, so you have as truthful of a setup as possible. I'm now sharing my screen with Zoom um, as a way to record the screen. And I'm now going to Safari and attempting to use the macOS Zoom to zoom into the text of the page. I'm now zooming back and forth on the heading. And you should be able to see the area that, I, that I'm being zoom, zooming on, but you shouldn't be able to see the actual zoom level because Zoom doesn't record this. I'm going to switch the screen share over to my OBS setup, which is already running just for the sake of this demo. So I am now sharing my OBS recording virtual camera. And if I go back to my same page and zoom again, you should be able to see the zoom level as I go back and forth. This is with the macOS built in Zoom. If I now share briefly how this is set up, so again in, in Zoom, this is a share of the content from second camera type in the advanced panel. Otherwise, the recording in Zoom is the same as usual. And this second camera is a virtual camera from OBS. This is the OBS interface. I can see that I have a scene called full screen. And within this scene, I have a source that's called display. So that's controlling what actually gets recorded by OBS. I can resize any of my sources on my scene. And I can see in the tools menu, in the menu bar, that I have this virtual camera started. So that's how I got it up and running. On the performance front, in the status bar of Zoom at the bottom, to the right, I can see the CPU usage of, of Zoom currently due to the screen share. Um, if I was to want to have this uh, take up less resources, there are a few options to lower the quality. So I'm now in the Zoom settings. If I go in the output panel, I'm not entirely sure whether this matters or not, but there are options there about which encoder is being used to have lower CPU usage. And more importantly, in the video panel, I can configure the resolution of my scenes canvas, which the lower, the faster OBS is. And I can configure the frame rate of my recording. And again, the lower, the faster is. Uh, this is currently running on a MacBook Pro from 2019 um, with CPU usage of 10% at 30 FPS in 1080p resolution. And yes, I think that's it.